So what do historians do when they're writing a book on the 1894 Pullman strike, but some of the key documents are in another city? Road trip. Come with me to Chicago. Welcome to Chicago, where the local time is... Navigating O'Hare. And there it is, the magnificent Newberry Library, which holds a huge trove of documents related to the Pullman strike. Pullman workers, by the way, manufactured luxury railroad cars, and in 1894, they were getting screwed. In we go. So beautiful. Every archive I've been in has green lampshades. Must be a rule. Another rule is that old books are placed on cushions, and you can see why. Listen to this binding crack. Okay, so there's one document in particular I'm hoping to find here. It's titled, Report of a Meeting Held Under the Auspices of the American Railway Union. It's a transcript of a meeting of Pullman workers on the eve of the strike. And I've seen a few quotes from this document in other books, but I'm really curious about what else is in it. But first I have to find it. Then the magical people will bring me the box. Okay, here we go. Looking for folder 109. Bingo. Okay, moment of truth. What's in? And there it is. Report of a meeting held under the auspices of the American Railway Union, etc., etc. And it's 22 pages. By the way, this transcript was compiled and typed by a spy. Yeah, a guy hired by the Pullman Company to spy on workers and see what they were up to. So even though his motives were nefarious, he's left us an incredible document that lets us get inside that meeting to see and to hear and to feel what workers were saying on the eve of this momentous decision about whether or not to strike. Here's one vivid excerpt from a speech given that night. Quote, we have been starving to death for the last eight or nine months. And now if they're gonna make us fight, we will fight. And then skipping ahead a few lines, while we are walking around, he, the wealthy company owner, George Pullman, is drinking champagne. His cupboard does not get empty. The worker's sense of injustice just leaps off the page and it helps me, the historian, explain why, even though the odds were totally stacked against them, they ultimately decide to go on strike. All right, gotta go. Many more documents beckon.